Hey everyone, it's Luke here from Up North Collectors, and today we are at the best weekend card show here in Boston, Massachusetts, specifically at Woburn, Mass. Super excited to get inside today. Uh, we are fully set up now. We've been here actually since Thursday. We came in Thursday night. Uh, yesterday, Friday, went into Boston, into the city to check it out uh, for a little fun day. And then today and tomorrow we are set up at the show, so it should be a ton of fun to set up. <laughs> weekend card show. He just picked up these four cards, including a nice Jalen Green rookie. Steve has been a long time viewer of the channel, so thank you so much, Steve. Thank you very much. You guys are great. What's up, guys? So we are about four hours into the show here. It's been really, really good so far. Have sold a ton out of the dollar boxes, which is always awesome. Really why I came out here was to move a bunch of the super cheap inventory. But I've also sold a lot of the showcase stuff too, which is always cool. Picked up some cool stuff as well. All this stuff locked up. So we've got a really nice Grant Hill National Treasures patch auto for the shop out of 25. This walked up, thought this was awesome. A Shaq Platinum Portraits and a BGS 8. Uh, has really, really nice subgrades, so I was pumped about that one. Also picked this up, 2018 Tops Update, Rookie Otani. Uh, this is the Independence Day, it's kind of hard to see here, but that one is out of 76. Uh, you'll see this in the pickup video as well uh, when we do that at the end of the show. Um, and then we also have a 2000 Brady Bowman Rookie. This will probably seven, not in great shape, but got a really good deal on this, so excited to pick up that one too. That one will be heading off to SCC Grading. Um, but overall, really, really fun show so far. We're gonna walk around in a little bit, take some footage of some of the tables so you can see some of the cards uh, that are available for sale here and hopefully do some interviews as well filmington tier cardi c is here so we're going to talk to those guys talk to jeff bowman 1951 uh, we'll do that as well so stay tuned uh, for some more show footage here soon all right guys well, we are done with the show today in the elevator heading down to trade night tonight really looking forward to trade night um i usually actually end up doing better buying at trade nights than i do at the actual show uh, because generally dealers aren't as willing to work with you uh in general at a percentage that i want to be at as uh, just people at a trade night might be so should be a lot of fun we'll check this out hopefully we'll find some cool stuff we're going to get some footage from the trade night here all right guys so just did a deal paid sixteen hundred dollars in cash for a zion williamson psa 10 silver and a bunch of 86 87 all right we are here with g-dubs collects and uh how is the show today for you it's fantastic this is one of the best it came after the uh the uh, pandemic and it was one of the first ones that kind of started back up and it was Every time I've come, it's been fantastic. A lot of people, uh, I think it was like, I don't know, 200 people in there this morning, which is insane. So, uh, awesome show, nice and local. You don't have to go into Boston, which is huge. Right. It's always nice because uh, uh, the Causeway Card Show and the Fenway Card Show, unbelievable to have shows in those venues. Yeah. But my goodness, like, a it's, nightmare to it's get a in. nightmare to get yeah. in and out. Yeah, yeah so, for sure. But it was great. What were you looking to pick up today, if anything? Uh, mostly PC stuff. So I actually, you guys can let me know if I won or lost this one, but I traded a, uh, a numbered out of 35 Juan Soto autograph for a numbered out of 10 Xander Bogarts Dynasty. So that's I pretty love cool. That's Xander's cool. Yeah, yeah, that's sweet. So I probably 
I don't know if I made out in that deal, but from in my mind, I did. So that was. Uh, I think so. Yeah, Xander doesn't sign very much. Soto does. So yeah, that's a big thing. Soto signs that. a lot. So and I, cool. I had already upgraded my uh, Soto autograph. So I was like, all right, I can let this one go, and, uh, and the price was right. So that was that was my big uh, acquisition. But then uh, just got a lot of PC stuff. Albert Pujols. So yeah, gotta gotta give him some love. And where can everyone find you to give you a follow? Uh, G Dubs collects on Instagram and Twitter, and then also on my YouTube channel. I do uh, daily breaks of uh, mostly Topps baseball. So. Yeah, and I'll drop the link to that down below. So thank you so much. Thank you so much. And make sure you guys follow up North Collectors. What's up, guys? We are about to go into the show for day two here of the best weekend card show. So super excited to get inside this morning. Uh, we'll see how slow it is today. I don't know. Yesterday was very, very good. Um, today should be pretty busy, but football is on on Sundays, so you just kind of never know uh, how the traffic will be once football gets going around 1 o'clock. It's hard to know, but we will see. Um, but hopefully we can do some cool buying again today. Picked up some really nice stuff yesterday, so hoping to do the same today. So we'll see how that goes, um, but we'll keep you guys posted. We're going to try to do a lot more walking around today as well, um, and maybe filming some interactions at the table. So we're going to do both those things, and uh, yeah, we'll keep you posted, so stay tuned. What's up, guys? We are here with Ryan from Breakout Cards. Make sure to check out his YouTube channel. I'll drop a link to it down below. But just did a deal for some Verlander rookies. I traded away a couple of Willie Mays uh, that I graded with SGC. Got a bunch of Verlander rookies for the shop, which is awesome. Verlander moves very, very easy for me. Ryan does a ton of vintage stuff. So, Ryan, tell us a little bit about what you're going to do with those Mays. Yeah, I mean, I have a huge SGC Cub sub coming back in with 50s through 70s vintage. So, I know a lot of people are always asking me for a Mays, Mantle, Koufax, Clemente. And I'll just throw those in there and sell them to some of my loyal customers. Yeah, for sure. And what if you had like some advice for someone on vintage, if they're just trying to get into it and they're just like kind of thinking about starting collecting vintage, I and mean, what kind of card should they look to pick up at first? I'd say the first thing to do is kind of educate yourself on like what's a real versus fake card. Because even like last night at trade night, I was showing another person that they bought a fake 1965 mantle. If you're buying things out there well, you need to know what you're buying, just not randomly going out there and say, oh, I want this card. So I'd familiarize with yourself, like how the cards are printed, how the texture, the feel of them, like how thick they're supposed to be. And if you don't want to do that, stick with already graded cards. I mean, you stick with PSA, SGC, and I'd also do CSG right now. A lot of vintage guys don't really go towards BBG at the moment, but just because they just don't going gravitating towards BBG, just mostly those big three companies. So stay with that. But if you're also buying for your collection, make sure the first thing that you focus on is kind of like overall eye appeal. Now for me, I like centering as number one. Centering is really important to me. And then I look at like corners and surface and like everything needs to add up together to have a really great card. One thing a lot of vintage people will do is just hold on to their cards. I'm kind of against that philosophy. Like you always want to try to upgrade your cards. You're going to find another mantle in a five grade or a sixth grade. Always try to get the nicer example when possible. Yeah, for sure. Well, thanks so much, Ryan. Make sure to check out his channel again. I'll uh, link that down below. Just picked up this Tom Brady SGC8. My Instagram is Boston Sports Card 37 if you want to check it out. Yeah, make sure to check him out, guys. We just did a trade for this Tom Brady, and then I picked up a Bowman's Best Refractor, MJ Floor, Tyreek, a couple of young guns here, so some cool stuff. Thanks so much, Matthew. And what's the Instagram one more time? Boston Sports Cards 37. So make sure to give him a follow. So a handful of cool pickups that walked up today. Picked up this one, this nice grippy uh, Sweet Spot Signatures Auto. That's really cool. Wish it was Mariners, but still very cool. Paid $40 for this Debo Samuel out of 99 Zenith Auto. Thought that was a great buy. Um, then also picked up this for 40 bucks. Momentum Jim Kelly patch, number to 15. Uh, so thought that, that was really cool as well. Uh, that one is game use. So some cool pickups so far today. So I made some big time additions today to my Julian Edelman collection. Picked up two tie-dye prisms, which I'm pumped about. A white sparkle, a black to 25. The poop sparkle, first off the line prism, PSA 9. And a Julian Edelman SP Authentic Rookie Autograph. So pumped to add those to the PC. So packing up here at the Best Weekend Card Show. It was an amazing weekend this weekend. Hopefully we got a lot of really cool footage for you. But finished off the day by picking up these two. Uh, picked up this Michael Jordan autograph, my first ever Jordan auto, so you'll see this up close in the pickups video. And also, let me set this down, picked up a Curry rookie autograph uh, in an 8.5, so picked both of those up today. 
Made some really, really great deals today. You'll see all of that in the pickups portion. But make sure to go ahead and check out the best weekend card show. They do a monthly card show here in the outskirts of Boston. So check it out. Um, and we'll be back home uh, tomorrow, and you'll see some footage of the pickups. All right, guys, we are back from the best weekend card show out in Boston. It was an awesome experience. I'm filming this on Wednesday, and I'm still very much recovering from the trip. Uh, 16 hours each way was an absolute haul, but well worth it. Um, here we have our stack of pickups, so time to show you guys everything that we picked up at the show. Overall, awesome show. I moved all of my dollar boxes, all my value boxes. I sold them all um, and then moved a ton of different showcase stuff. Did not sell a ton of expensive stuff at this show. Um, I think the biggest sale was maybe 500 bucks, 400 bucks, um, but most of them were like 20, 50, you know, 100, uh, stuff like that, $10, uh, so some cheaper sales, but that's perfectly fine. Still well worth the trip, but here's some stuff that I picked up. So we've got this beautiful Austin Hayes booklet from National Treasures. Uh, I think I paid like $15 for this, so could not say no. Uh, then I actually picked up some hockey here, uh, which is not something I'm accustomed to, but I've learned a little bit about hockey. I've got some friends that are big into it. Um, and I've started to kind of pick up on some of the good guys and these young guns from series two actually grayed out really, really well. Um, so there we've got a Jamie Drysdale. This might actually be a series one rookie. Um, we have a Dylan Larkin young gun, nice Moritz Cider young gun. So picking up some Red Wings guys, that'd be good for the shop. Same thing here. Aiden Hutchinson, rookie patch auto. We've got a Sadiq Bay auto, a nice Jalen Suggs disco. A Cade Cunningham Silver, a Luca Garza Patch Auto. We've got a Desmond Ritter Certified to $2.99. JPP Red SSP Larry Bird Sticker Carl Malone. I took a chance on this one. If you are a hockey guy, let me know. This is a Jacob Taruba. I don't know a ton about him, but I thought I'd heard the name before, and it was like three dollars, so I picked it up. Uh, took a whim on it. Uh, we've got a Akeem Olajuwon, Pineda, that was just part of a bulk lot, uh, Tony Finau autograph, and a Seth Curry Genesis. We've got a cool gold Nick Foles. I always pick up gold stuff if it's the right price. We've got a nice Jokic red, a Sean Merriman, a McCole Hardman Jr. This is a nice one. Might look to grade this one. Jalen Suggs choice autograph. Uh, not numbered, but really nice card. I think Suggs has some potential. Cool retro materials, Bo Jackson to 15. This one is game worn. Nice Peyton Pritchard. Really cool Hutchinson here. I uh, got a great deal on this as well out of 25 RPA. Pedro Pineda. Cool instant impact Cade. Keep an eye out for these if you're buying Hoops Premium stock. This is like one of the few things you actually want out of there. Um, this is the Teal SSP Prism. I one time bought a John Morant for $3 and sold it for $300 uh, because I knew about this Teal SSP. It looks very much like the light blue parallel, um, but keep an eye out for these Teals. They do very well, so pick that up for a couple bucks. Um, nice Hutchinson and Jamison Williams dual patch for the shop. Another one for the shop, a nice Rodman Bulls uh, Spectra Icons. Most of this stuff will be on eBay as well, just as a by the way. Uh, we'll list a lot of this stuff. This was a PC card. Um, New England Patriots, I love the old camos out of uh, $3.99. Very cool card of Gronk and Wes Welker. Cool one for the shop, Swift Building Blocks, Patch Auto. Or not Patch Auto, but Patch. Nice Cade Cunningham Select. This is very cool. A Jim Kelly. This is a game use patch number 215. I think I paid 40 bucks for this. Seemed really cheap. I've actually met Jim Kelly. Really nice guy. So cool to pick up there. Nice Chuba Auto. Uh, picked this up really cheap. Couple bucks. Figured, you know, maybe there's some potential. With McCaffrey being gone, Penny Sewell, uh, Honeycomb, Alvin Adams, and Alvin Adams from 8687 Fleer. A Arande Barber, a Zebra. This is cool. Got this one really cheap. Debo Samuel Zenith Auto out of 99. Chloe Kim Auto. She is pretty popular. And pick this up. This is a nice Bowman Brady rookie. We'll look to grade this one. Most likely going to be a 7. Uh, there's a pretty significant chip to the top. So we'll send that off. See what SGC says. Um, if it comes back like an 8, might snap and send a PSA. You could just get a little bit more value. But got that for a really good deal. Uh, another one I got really cheap, a Cam Akers Flawless RPA. I think I paid like $25 for this. And I know FSU fans go crazy for Flawless Collegiate, as do most college fans. So I thought that was a good deal there. 
Picked up two Kabooms, both with the infamous print line at the top. Always look out for these if you're thinking about grading Kabooms. They all have this print line up top. Uh, we got a John Elway and a Michael Strahan Kaboom. Uh, into some more raw, picked up a huge lot of Verlanders. You'll see a bunch of those in here, a bunch of Verlander rookies. Picked this up really cheap, Hunter, flawless uh, patch auto. Got a Cade uh, patch and a Jackie Robinson gold. Pippin, Pippin, Jordan, cool Connor McDavid. Uh, Drake London to 25, Patrick Ewing, cool Cade to 99. Pick this up cheap, Bowman's best, Tom Brady will most likely grade this. Grade a couple of these before. Nice Tyree Keel jumbo patch, full coverage. And then a Justin Verlander rookie. Cool Curtis Granderson patch auto. Some more Verlander rookies. Pick this all up in a lot for my guy Ryan at Breakout Cards. Uh, you probably saw a clip of that in the video. Some more Tops Verlanders. So some cool Verlander stuff. Here's a Dantley sticker. Nice Jordan sticker. Then picked up a nice copy of a Kobe. A little fat right. Um, probably is going to be an 8.5 to a 9. But still picked it up. Came in a big lot which was really cheap. Uh, picked up some more Series 2 Young Guns, Quentin Byfield Young Guns. These do pretty well. Again, easy to grade. Lucas Raymond Young Gun, Killian Hayes, Jamal Williams, Drake London, another Kate Select Silver. Uh, there's a random Kyle Pitts base. Verlander, a couple of these for the shop. Jeff Okuda Cosmic Parallels. Those are kind of cool. Lexi Thompson and a cool Josh Jacobs tie-dye. Manny, that guy. McCole Hardman Jr. Ice. Got a nice 2-2 Atwell patch. Uh, Eric Uzi, Patch Auto for the Dolphins, Zenith Jerseys of Thielen, uh, Owusu Koromoa, he actually sells pretty well, Keith Taylor, Pat Fryermuth, Irving Fryer, and a Richie Grant, he also sells well, Cracked Ice, I paid like $10 for this, that'll do a lot better than $10. Bucks. Marcus Aldridge, Gold Wave, paid 5 bucks for this, thought that was cheap, Aaron Judge, Major League Material, Game Use Patch. A nice artifacts uh, arum of this guy and a cool Sauce Gardner rookie for a buck. Thought that was nice out of 325. Then into some graded stuff. I did pick up one card that I no longer have. I'll throw up a screenshot on screen. You saw it earlier in the video, but a Michael Jordan uh, autograph Letterman patch. Picked that up. Big pickup, uh, but flipped it really quick. Made a nice profit on that. Um, that one sold before I even got home. So didn't have a chance to include that one in the video, but you did see it you know, in the vlog there. So... But into some slab stuff, we've got a Zion and an 8. Nice Amonra, green scope, and a 9 for the shop. Herbert, PSA 9. Tua, PSA 9. Just some cheaper slabs. These will all do pretty well. Uh, Zion, a lot of people are looking for this kind of stuff. Franz Wagner, 8.5. Kids will come in. They want to get a cool slab Zion rookie. You know, they can't afford a PSA 10 prism silver, but they can afford, you know, something like this. So... Some cool stuff. That one's stuck. There's another clearly. I paid 60 bucks for this. Raphael Devers, 8.5 Bowman First Auto. That seems really, really cheap. I mean, 8.5 is going to sell the same as Raw, but still, thought that was super cheap. Otani, SGC 10. Another sneaky thing to look out for. Someone walked up with this, sold to me for 35 bucks. Randall Cunningham, On Card Flawless Auto. Randall Cunningham, not a massive name by any means, but does sell pretty well. Any Eagles and Flawless sell well. Flawless in general sells really well. So this card will do probably about 80 to 100 bucks. Um, so keep an eye out for that kind of stuff as well. Uh, we've got a Justin Herbert, Mosaic 9, Zion 8, Seiku for the shop, and an 8.5. Bigger pickup here. Nice Zion Prism Silver PSA 10. Nice liquid card. There's a Debo Samuel in an SGC 10. This is the field level. Got this really cheap as well, uh, number 275. These do well, these Michael Jordan holograms. These things are tough grades, um, but so I'm seven there, kind of cool. Pick that up, really cheap. Another big pickup, Platinum Portrait Shack. Um, nice one there from Metal. One of those really hard 90s inserts in an SGC, or uh, not SGC, BGS 8. PSA 10 Zion, uh, and all this stuff will be up on my eBay page. Um, all, you know, 350 cards here basically will be listed besides some of the PC stuff, but it will all be up there for sale. If you want a little bit of a better deal on something, just shoot me an email or a message and I'll take care of you. There's a Jalen Hurts Bronze Select out of 355. Daniel Jones, Red, White, and Blue Prism PSA 10. And the big pickup, Steph Curry, rookie autograph in an 8.5 with a 10 auto. That one is number 2649. Thought that was super cool. One, you know, I'm probably going to end up selling, but wouldn't mind stashing either. One that I'm perfectly fine with having. A little Steph Curry rookie auto. You cannot go wrong there. And some stuff that will not be sold besides this stuff. This will. Uh, some cool Cade stuff. So Cade Silver, Cade Red Ice, Cade Spectra to 99, and a Cade Choice Mojo Red. But this is stuff that I will never sell. Just some cool stuff. 
So one that I needed, uh, a Julian Allman SP Authentic rookie autograph. He only has like five different rookie autos, maybe six. This is one of them out of $9.99, so picked up one of these. Picked up some really cool color as well, Edelman tie-dye. I'm a huge Edelman collector, if you didn't know. Uh, Edelman tie-dye in an 8 to 25. They only made prism tie-dyes in 14 and 15, so that's a cool one. Uh, and that one is jersey number 11 of 25 as well. Black PSA 9, and that one is number 225. White Sparkle PSA 9, another cool one. And a Bronze Stars Julian Edelman PSA 9, cool one there, not numbered, but I think these are like serial numbered to 9 or like 11 or something from that year. So some very cool stuff. Overall, some awesome pickups. I really appreciate all of you watching this. Uh, it means a lot. So thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video.